everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Mari welcome in today's video I'm actually gonna be talking to you guys about feeling burnt out because I know that's like a feeling that consistently kind of occurs every like few months especially now that it's like almost middle of the year because um, February just started and I know a lot of us started off the year with a lot of goals and you know whenever we start off with a lot of goals and we're excited and motivated I feel like we tend to overwork ourselves because we're so excited to like achieve our goals and get where we want to get right and burnout occur naturally from that because we tend to be so motivated enjoy all the work that we're doing because we're so motivated but once that motivation kind of wears off and um it's just like now we have to actually put in the work to achieve our goals and the motivation is kind of gone because you know motivation eventually dies off right and discipline's what actually helps um you achieve your goals that's when everything kind of gets harder and you start feeling unmotivated right you start feeling burnt out um and you start feeling uninterested in those things that you were so interested in the beginning and you feel like the work for for it becomes kind of like a load a lot like a ton right because i know that's what's um, what happened to me every time i feel burnt out after like the motivation kind of wears off and I just I'm just not as motivated and I'm here actually to share with you guys a few tips and things you can do that will help prevent that even if you're um help like kind of prevent that and just where you you won't feel so unmotivated and so burnt out at the end of it you know because I feel like there's always ways to prevent certain things like that especially because it's like things we do that's why the burnout is like kind of happens right so for the first thing i would say would be have a work-life balance because sometimes when we're feeling burnt out and unmotivated and down it's because during the time where we're working so hard to achieve our goal right where we're putting so much work into it uh we were kind of balancing out that work with pleasure right i feel like um pleasure and taking care of your mental health where you're enjoying things you're happy and you're like having fun is like really important as well to prevent a burnout because i feel like that's how burnout type of, um occur because we're just always working 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 right even though it feels enjoyable but it's still not like us relaxing and enjoying things as in like pleasure like going out watching a movie kind of just stepping out of reality real quick and just like enjoying living the moment you know instead of just working towards our goals um, I feel like having a balance in between um, work and pleasure is definitely gonna prevent a burnout and it could be like just little things honestly I know sometimes a lot of us are really busy and we have a lot a lot going on right and we don't have the time um, to like go do something but we have to make at least a day in the week or a few hours in our week where we could sit there and just do something we really enjoy um, a few thing, a few examples could be like watching your favorite show. I know for me, whenever um, I have like time, I like watching Dynasty. That's one of my favorite TV shows. I always rewatch it. It's either Dynasty or Lucifer. Um, I don't know why, but those shows just keep me occupied and help me kind of step out of reality real quick and just like get into the show. You know, it keeps me like distracted, like my mind distracted, right? And another could be like watch, going out to watch a movie. Another thing could be going out to dinner like once a week, you know, with like friends. Or it could be going to the club. It could be going to a party. It could be anything that you're not working in. You're just having fun. You're just enjoying it like a recreational activity, right? It could even be going on a hike, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, so definitely a work-life balance will help so much prevent the burnout and you're gonna enjoy life so much better you're gonna you're not gonna be working so much to the point where you know you're like actually you're gonna enjoy your life better because like at the end of your days you're gonna have a little bit of like a something that you're looking forward to where it's literally in the present unlike when we achieve our goals I know we all look forward to achieving our goals but that's so kind of far in the future uh, but in our daily daily things we could just look forward to little things that will help us keep going and working hard um, 
so that we don't get burnt out you know um it could be like you know watching show going out little things i feel like that always helped me kind of keep going keep working at it because i'm looking forward to those little things that are gonna that are in the present and not in the future i feel like in the present it's like things that are tonight tomorrow you know in a week from now unlike in the future like whenever you achieve the goal whenever you finish with school or whenever you're um you hit a certain like sale number it's like that's kind of in the future it's like hitting our goals is in the future but something in the present we have to find something that's enjoyable and brings us pleasure that's like right now we're in the present you know okay and another thing i'd recommend doing would be romanticizing your life i have a separate video about this if you guys are interested i'll link it down below but i'm gonna just summarize it in a few sentences right now so here we go i feel like romanticizing your life could be different for everyone everyone has like a different kind of view on it in a way um but how i like doing it is kind of setting the mood right whenever i'm studying in the morning i like playing like jazz music in the background turning on a candle turning on my humidifier just to kind of use my other senses while i'm studying also that to smell like the room will smell nice and like listen to music kind of and just like feel like i'm in a movie you know i don't know i just really like doing that going that little extra step and just like having all that kind of like be set up i feel like it motivates me to keep going and it makes my like every day not as boring like let's say every day like i pick a different um essential oil to put in my diffuser or like turn on a different scented candle just to switch up things a little bit so that it doesn't get so boring just doing like your routine doing your work every day it could honestly even go in different ways where like romanticizing your life could be doing your makeup in the morning while you play music and you know you go to work looking all pretty and like put together you can change it up every day so that it kind of is like something different and also something that you're gonna enjoy doing just like kind of making everything that you're doing more like add a little extra to it you know just like adding the music or turning on that candle or it just could be like little details that you add in your daily like um, routine and daily life that is gonna make the biggest difference you know um, I never thought like music playing music in the background while you're studying would actually help you kind of be more motivated but it actually does especially if it's relaxing jazz music or music that helps you like focus it literally does because for a little while I kind of stopped listening to that and I noticed the difference in my mood after I'm done studying and during like my, my study session I noticed like Oh, like I'd get kind of bored and I couldn't like kind of um, focus as much because I just felt like it was so quiet and I'm so you're studying and it just got really boring and then I started playing music again I started like feeling more motivated time went by faster I was learning like kind of like feeling better while I was learning you know and it's just like that little thing it was the, like the little music in the background that I was playing you know that made the biggest difference and when I do play, I play on like low, so it's just like a little bit there, right? It's like, I don't know what they call it, it's empty noise or, I don't know, something like that. But it just makes the biggest difference. So you just have to find what works for you and kind of do it in your daily, like include it in your daily routine and just include it in your day-to-day -day life, you know? And it's going to help you romanticize your life and it's going to help you feel a lot better about working every day doing the same even if it's doing the same thing or whatever it is that you're doing you know um so the last thing i would recommend would be creating habits creating new habits that help you slowly kind of achieve whatever you're working towards instead of kind of having really big workloads every day um kind of creating habits that help you kind of achieve what you want so that you don't feel burnt out um so you don't feel burnt out at the end because you were putting in so much work to like achieve your goal um so just like kind of breaking it down into doing like little habits into like habits that you can work on every day um for an example for me when i first started studying for real estate i was super excited i was so motivated i was so ready i was studying four to six hours every day in the beginning because i was so excited you know um, but then I realized that's not sustainable. I couldn't do that, you know, for a long, long time. I, I was able to do that for like a week and a half, two weeks, and then I was feeling burnt out, unmotivated, and really 
felt like that process was just taking forever, right? Because I was studying so much. And in reality, that I wasn't even being that, like, kind of productive with it because I, I was like, I'd be so tired and like mentally so drained at the end of the day because I'm studying so much, right? Um, then I decided to kind of cut that studying hours down to an hour and a half to two hours every day, right? In the morning I wake up, I just have a certain amount of hours in my day. I'm gonna get my studying done through between those hours and then I'm done. I'm not gonna think about it for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna move on with my day, go continue doing whatever I need to do, right? If it's work, if it's, you know, whatever it is, running errands. And then that became a habit for me. I've been doing that studying tactic for the past four months now. Now I'm entering my fifth month and I'm studying every day in the morning, one hour and a half to two hours. Um, and it's, it's worked. I've been able to sustain it. I've actually learned over 200 vocabulary words. I've learned a lot of the material and I'm super close to completing all my courses and taking my final exam. So building habits will help you so much and you'll end up you get super close to achieving your goal and you achieve your goal without feeling burnt out and out of it you know and unmotivated because you kind of you're doing little by little every day where you know it's not going to affect your mental health it's you're not going to be drained you're just kind of taking it day by day you know day at a time and habits help you so much you can set if you create a habit for anything right you're going to achieve it because once it becomes a habit, you can't not do it. It's not going to feel right when you don't do it. You know what I mean? So I feel like that the study habit that I created for myself has helped me so much. And you should definitely try it in your own life and kind of turn whatever it is that's making you feel so burnt out and so unmotivated that into a habit where you kind of, you just do it every day for a certain amount of time and that's it. You just forget about it move on. That's it. And next day comes around and do this again and then eventually it'll just feel natural you know, doing it. So yeah. I really hope this video has helped you guys. And if you're feeling burnt out, I want you to take a break, relax, okay? And just get back into it whenever you feel ready, okay? And try to use the tips I mentioned in this video. They have helped me so much in the past few months and like in life, you know? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!